A by-election in Malaysia's Perak state will be in the spotlight tomorrow, that Saturday, after two weeks of campaigning. All eyes will be on the debut of Malaysia's newest party, Pejuang. It's the political vehicle of former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad. Well, as our correspondent Melissa Go reports the result, well, it's going to be a litmus test of Dr. Mahathir's appeal to rural Malays. Some 23,000 registered voters at this rural constituency at Slim Para will choose a new assemblyman. This after Mohammad Kushari Abdul Talib, their four term assemblyman from United Malays National Organization, passed away in July. It's an uphill battle to unseat Amno in this stronghold, where even the minority Chinese spoke highly of the late assemblyman. <laughs> Amno, that won with a majority of over 2,000 votes in the 2018 general election, is seeking to increase its margin. Because we want to make sure we win comfortably and we want to make sure also the majority this time, the bus election is better uh, as compared to the uh, result in GE14. It's a three-cornered race, but the real fight is between Amno's candidate, Mama Zaidi, and the independent Amir Kushari, who is picked by former Prime Minister Dr. Mahade Mohamad to win voters by fighting corruption and party hopping. Saya percaya Amir tak akan jual diri dia. Apa you punya price? 95-year-old Dr. Mahathir has been hitting the campaign trail to rally support for 39-year-old lawyer Amir Kushari the past week. Now, analysts say if he can trim the winning majority of Amno, Pajuang, or warrior his party is known in short, at least can claim a moral victory. I mean, it's a difficult seat, like, you know, because it, it has like a lot of Elta settlements. So if he can actually flip the seat, then it shows that, that, that Dr. Mahathir can still move the Malay ground. Over 70% of voters here are ethnic Malays, mostly settlers under the land plantation scheme known as Belda, and it's widely seen in the past as a vote bang for AMNO-led Barisan Nasional coalition. It's also the first test how Muafakat Nasional, the pact between AMNO and Islamic Party PAS, works on the ground, with Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin's Bersatu party. BN has to win uh, convincingly to show that the Malay community is strongly behind the uh, Muafakat National Coalition. So looking from the other side, uh, this is also a first test of the uh, Mofaka National and also uh, Prikata National arrangement. For voters, it's also the first time that they are complying with a new norm. Due to COVID-19 pandemic, campaign gathering are limited to 250, while only three are allowed to go house-to-house visit each time. Ahmad Nizam, whose parents are settlers, said voters are confused with the ever-changing state of political affairs in the country. People itself keep jumping from one party to another party, so it totally mixed up now. <laughs> it's really complicated. For others, bread and butter issues and rising cost of living is key. Orang kampung susah. Nanti undi BN, undi lain tak dapat bantuan itu aja dia orang gunakan isu. With former prime ministers Najib Raza and Dr. Mahathir landing their star appeal on opposite sides, political watchers see Slim as a warm-up ahead of a snap national poll widely expected to be just around the corner. Melissa Go, CNA, Para.